Okay, welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Riverview Farm. That's right, we are back on the view of the river and we are going to get stuck into some work. Now, lots of things on our plate today. Um, we do have the news that 1.8.1, I think it is, has been released by Giants. Um, yeah, I know there's a couple of guys that are expecting a bit of a rant here. Uh, let me get back to that in a minute. Anyway, let's have a look at what we're going to do. So, um, while I bring the time up to get started, you'll notice at the top right hand side we've got a little bit of money behind us now. Uh, now the reason being is with our greenhouses and our orchards we had a stockpile of fruit and veg that wasn't going anywhere. So our factory, um, if we have a look at the factory, if my keys would actually start working, got a delay on the stream deck again. Um, so if we have a look at these here, we had a number of things, particularly cherries, and as you can see, now they're resetting. So the cherries in particular um, were chockers on virtually all of the orchards that were running cherries on. I've actually since removed cherries from a couple of orchards. In fact, I'm gonna remove it from that one as well. Um, oh, actually not that one. Do that one and take it from that one. Um, so what we did is we took all the excess fruit and veggies out, we spawned it out, and then we went off and we sold it. Um, so the selling of that was a huge amount of money. Let's have a look. Um, du -du 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 -du, should be in here. So 2,271,000, all right? So we, we've made a bit of money there. Now, the other thing we've got to do as well is we've got a whole pile of stuff to sell in June. Um, now this is a new mod that's available, the time saving stock check mod, and this is fantastic. So without me having to go and check out a printed note or the old wall chart that I've got, I can quickly come in here and say, right, so June, right, max month, chocolate. So if we've got chocolate, we can sell it. Come down a bit further, June, right. So what we've got to sell is ice cream, fruit salad, salad, mozzarella sticks, chocolate cake, pie, 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 and stuffed animals. And this is basically what it estimates we should get. So we're gonna sell all this. That means we're gonna make more money. Now, we're gonna make more money. That's going to take us well over $2 million. What are we going to do with the money? Well, we're going to expand the farm, right? So that's what we're going to do. But in the meantime, let's head on over here and get out from the warehouse what we're going to be selling. Right, now, uh, cherry pie was one. Fruit salad is one we're going to get. So we're going to put out all the fruit salad. Okay, what I want to do as well is I want to take this here. I'll move that up here. I know it's not necessarily going to fill there properly, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to grab the tractor. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come round and we are going to start prepping for load and then we'll get going. So there is going to be a little bit of sales going on. I know some people don't like seeing this part with the production and that, but then we're going to get stuck into some other farming uh, elements. And obviously, of course, we're also going to get stuck into um, getting some farm work done because um, we are going to have some more farms to deal with, as in fields, I should say. All right, there we go. We're going to bring that up there. Okay, I'll check to see if there's any more fruit salad. Don't think we took all the fruit salad out. Fruit salad, a bit more fruit salad there, so we'll get rid of all the fruit salad. Okay. Done. Now we're going to go check again, see what else there is. Um, where is it here? So, fruit salad we've done. We're going to do salad, mozzarella sticks, and chocolate cake. So, um, yeah, salad. Probably going to fill up uh, this trailer load just with salad and fruit salad the way things are looking. Oh no, it's not too bad. Okay. All right. Um, have a look. Mozzarella sticks. One pallet of mozzarella sticks. Um, cake? No, chocolate cake. I don't think we've got any chocolate cake though, do we? Right. Okay. Have a look again. So, ice cream, fruit salad. Okay, okay, okay. Cherry pie. Uh, and stuffed animals. That's all we got to do. The cherry pie and stuffed animals. Right, look. Cherry pie. 
we go and stuffed animals there we go 81 pallet stuff animals right okay let's have another look just to make sure so this tells what our stock on hand is so we also then very quickly know um what we've got to sell off there nothing nothing there. right that's it so let's fill up that last trailer actually we'll fill up the front trailer let's do that let's just turn that rear trailer off ah uh, our first trailer was turned on still oh i'll sell some cocoa beans as well that's okay uh huh we did all up we did because the other trailer was off right there we go all right let's go and sell this off and then we can get back into our farming so we're at 1.855 now we made 2.2 million, but where did all the money go, Doc? Well, I actually have already put in the flour mill. We said last time we're going to put the flour mill uh, on the farm. So I've installed the flour mill up near the oil factory on the farm. So that is in there ready to go. We haven't got any produce, any products being made as yet. Uh, that will come with some time. Um, but at the moment, we haven't done anything with that. Uh, what else do I use the money on? Um, I've got to think now, I can't remember. Um, I haven't bought anything, so I can't remember. I can't remember. There may be a bit of a layover, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Can't remember. You know, to be honest, if I could remember, I'd tell you. But and I've got caught. Thankfully, um, as a result of 1.8.1, um, there are a number of mods, particularly. That failed to work and they've been very quickly um, rectified now um by and large um okay let's let's talk about giants while we take this delivery by and large um i haven't got that much to bitch about with the 1.0.1 patch however <laughs> there's always a however there is still no fix for the contracts now it's been four or five patches since and it's obvious that giants just don't give a rat's ass about what they break and fixing it. Um, it's very disappointing. Um, to me, it doesn't affect me so much. I don't tend to use the contract so much. Now, you do use the Better Contracts mod, which has also been updated for 1.0.1. Um, but it's just poor form. Um, there's plenty of people that have, that have bitched about it and, and spoken about it. Um, and nothing's been done about it. And it's just not good enough, Giants. The other thing is, obviously, the, 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 this part, next part has got two different two different sides to it. Giants put a patch out 1.8.1, and it broke a pile of mods, particularly scripting mods. Okay. Now, a lot of you will say, well, that's not Giants' problem. And yeah, in a way, you're right. It's not their problem. Because the game changes it. They can't sort of sit there and 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 check however many thousands of mods there are to make sure they all work however my take on this is what you need to do is you need to look at the mods that are the most popular and most highly used you have the contact details for all the modders that put mods on your website on your on your game okay through the mod hub contact those modders that particularly have put out things like scripting mods um, now, GTX's Easy Development Mods is one in particular, um, for instance, that have a lot of people subscribe to it. And we've just made $250,000, by the way, on that road. Contact them and tell them, prior to actually releasing your, your update, that it's going to be impacted. Right? Start t taking, um, taking the work of, of modders, not for granted, but really embracing it. And actually start working with the modders i mean christ we've been saying it for bloody five six seven years if not more um with your game particularly and your company once you've done that that's all well and good now the good side i have noticed with giants and releasing 1.8.1 of the breaking of the mods is if you have a look at the mods that have been re-released or updated in the last 48 hours or so a lot of them are um, script based mods 
where the modders have actually already put the updates through to Giants to get them working again with 1.8.1 and seemingly they've jumped the queue and Giants have actually processed them as a priority to get them working again. Now that's the good part. Well done Giants. That's, that's what I would expect to see from a responsible company that has a game that relies, and let's not, let's not pull any punches, your game relies on the modders. We've said that numerous, numerous times. Okay? So don't slap your modders in the face. Embrace them. You really need to do that. Now, I'm not going to say a lot, more, a lot else about 1.8.1 other than the fact I'm just really disappointed with the, with the contracts. Um, I'm just really disappointed in general that you just don't do things the right way. Performance-wise, I actually think I've seen probably a little bit of a performance increase possibly um, in this last patch. I don't know why. There's nothing really that um, that changed anything as far as graphics or anything or rendering as far as I was concerned and, and noticed. But um, by and large, apart from having to go through and re-render everything by patching up all the, the graphic files and the rendering, um, by and large, the, the game hasn't had too many issues with 1.8.1 other than the fact that things like um, easy development mod, um, enhanced fill type mod um, and a few others uh, were broken by the update. But, but that's fine. I mean, a lot of those mods now have been updated. So for instance, the easy development mod, um, that has actually now been updated on GTX's GitHub, um, GitHub I should say, and um, that is, is seemingly working correctly, which is fine. Um, and uh, other other mods have been similarly updated, like the enhanced fuel types that was updated very very quickly by Wopster um, and some other stuff. So anyway, that's um that's all well and good. All right, that's all I'm going to say about that. Talking about mods, one of the other things I want to say before I get into farming, really importantly, this is this is really I'm upset a little bit by this, not but I can understand it. But my good mate Jerry, otherwise known as Grizzly Bear Sims. Um, who created the Simply Safe Mods website and the Discord that goes along with it? Um, unfortunately, has had to call time on the website. Okay, now, yeah, some of you didn't know there was a website. I saw this in one of the Discord comments. Um, just thought it was just a Discord. Um, the website is obviously where all the the mods were hosted, and unfortunately, with with um, the downturn of the economy and 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 Jerry has gone into retirement um, from a professional point of view. Um, the the cost of running the website uh, effectively has gone out of his control in the fact that the ads and that were generated from the website aren't, um, wasn't creating enough money to cover the costs. Um, because Jerry was actually, Grizzly Bear Sims I should say more correctly, was, was um, providing a website that had the ability to store and provide the upload download of files to so many people um, without charging them or charging for a membership or anything else like that. And seemingly from what I, I did go and have another look and I, I couldn't find a donation section or anything where we could actually help out Grizz by, um, by donating, um, which which I wish in a way that it was there because I would certainly put some money in. I, I, I can't say I've got a lot of stuff off Simply Safe mods, certainly from the Dragon Den pack, the Black Dragon put the Dragon Den pack up there and, and stuff like that. Um, and, and obviously now that's no longer going to be available and that's that's very unfortunate. Um, I think 10th of November is when Grizz said he's going to take down the, the site, the site's going to come down. Um, my, my personal message to, to Grizzly Bear Sims, uh, my good mate Jerry, um, I know you're not playing as much now or certainly not um, doing videos or, or as such anymore. Um, or certainly at the moment, mate, you've you've been a, a great mate um, through the many years that we've known each other. Um, you're particularly one of the ones that got me started in doing um, videos, and you're certainly one of the ones that got me interested in playing farming sim to start with. Anyway, uh, along with Eustace, also known as uh, Atomic Gamer 7 G, um, and I've just totally stuffed up what I was doing. I was trying to feed the chickens, so. A many many thanks to what you've done and and of course above all that um, what you've done for the community with simply safe mods um, there is another mod group um, from discord that actually does do a similar job to what uh, simply safe mods did and Jerry is a part of that uh, Grizzly Bear Sims is a part of that um, and I will probably put the link for that discord if I can and if I remember in the chat down below 
or the, just the description down below um that will probably be the next best place to go i mean and the reason i say the next best place to go is because between simply safe mods and this other mod mod place i've just been talking about I, I, i'm sorry i forgot the name of it at the moment um the mods are put there by the modders themselves there's no aggregated website um mods aren't stolen and if anything else um you actually learn or hopefully people have learned where not to go to get their mods um and and that way you're supporting the modders themselves i mean a lot of these modders are putting mods out that uh they're not after the money they're just doing it for the love of the game and for, for the love of, of doing modding um so it it behests all of us really i think to do the right thing by the modders and make sure you're downloading it from where they've they originally put the file and not going to these aggregated websites like these farming simulator 22 mods.com or whatever else I'm, I'm just using that name but a bit of, bit of slip and slide down the hill um generically I, it doesn't necessarily mean that that one is the one in particular but um simply safe mods was one place where you, you knew if you downloaded a mod from there you were getting it direct from the author um, and, and that was something that, that Grizz saw the need for and he didn't just sit around talking about it, he actually did something about it. And um, I personally am forever thankful for, for what he's done. Um, not just for that, but all he's done for, for myself and also the community um, for Farming Sim. So um, Grizz, hopefully it's not the, the last we see of you in any way, shape or form. I know Legion's... Um, um, you a bit of a call out and said he's got a plan for some other stuff that you may be interested in and, and look i hope i hope the farming sim community doesn't lose you um because uh you have been a highly valued member probably more so than what a lot of people actually know so um my mate jerry uh thank you um and uh i wish there was some way we could help you with keeping it up and running but um i understand entirely and um and uh thank you again for for what you have given it given to us and the modders uh, in that period of time so um just remembering that uh 10th of november is when the site's coming down so if if passing you can't find your mod um then that's the reason why hopefully uh, a lot of the modders will be able to put out maybe maybe grizz will keep the discord open um so the modders can can let everyone know where they've moved their their uh their mods to so as we can um still have access to it and everyone knows where to go to download the mods um if not i understand that but uh, hopefully that will be uh, on for a little bit. Anyway, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jerry. Heartfelt, thank you. Um, anyway. All right. So we've just um, we've made our money. We've just filled up the chickens. So the chickens basically run out of food a day or so ago, and I just got to fill them up. So that's why we went off and and gave them some, some feed. So that's, that's been done. Um, so while I've been drawing on at everything else i'm still getting some stuff done crazy enough um but now what we're going to do is we're going to head down here and look about spending some money and seeing what we can do with that all right yeah back around towards the cow barn the other thing i want to talk about as well um and i'm going to talk about it in some depth at some point is the platinum pack um and what giants are doing um but i'll leave that for a little, either a little bit later or another episode so uh, anyway we'll leave that for there for now all right let's have a look at the map okay my stream deck is still responding slowly as hell i've pressed that button like about three seconds four seconds ago still hasn't done anything go to the keyboard and i'll just do it that way because it's going to be quicker right so we have a pile of money so what have we got? We've got, um, can tell us, 2.1 million. All right. So uh, we need to look at what what fields we want to expand in. Now, we've expanded pretty much all the way through here. We've got a field up here, field three, field two, field six, uh, and these ones down here to get as well. Now, I was thinking I could go all the way down through here, which is fine. I could certainly do that. But I'm, I'm looking at these two fields. I'm, I want to get these two fields, I think, at the moment. That'll give us a good amount of, um, so wheat is in the bottom one, 30, as you can see, and corn in field 29. Um, that'll supplement our wheat. 
because we're going to need the flower coming in now. Um, so we're going to be looking at putting a bakery in. So I don't think we've, we haven't got the bakery as yet. So we're going to put a bakery in, and then I can look at these these fields down here further. So let's um let's look at that initially. So farmland. This one here is one million dollars. So I'm just going to buy it. Okay. Now field twenty seven is four hundred and forty three thousand. Uh, yep, we're going to buy it. Okay. We've bought those two there. Now that means we're going to have to come down, cross the river here, and come down here and then work down here. So that's going to be problematic for our combines and stuff like that. But what we may end up doing is is having a combine base down here in this area where we've got um, we've got a chicken barn down here. Um, and we're going to put some more placeables in here, possibly. But anyway, that leaves with six hundred and sixty-one thousand. Now, um, that's okay. So, how much is this field here? I was interested in this field as well before. That's four hundred and eighty-two thousand. Um, or we can look at coming down through here and getting these fields. And I think that's probably what I might look at doing. But I'm going to have a look at the status. That's cotton and that's potato. I don't really want cotton. I don't really want potatoes. So what's the status of the field? Um, that's growing, that's ready for harvest. Now, in saying that, um, what have we got over here? So I've got sugar beet in here. I've got potatoes in there. I'm not so sure I want that, actually, to be honest. Um, and they're both potatoes down here. Hmm. Let's have a look and see. That one there is 288, 165. Row seven. Um, okay. I'm assuming they've got grass. Yeah, that's that's grass field. So grass and grass, uh, and they're all grass there. So I think what we might do, we might start down the bottom now and move our way up. So I think we might buy that one. I think we'll buy. Oh, hang on. Is it ready to harvest? Oops, wrong way. That one's ready to harvest, that one's almost ready to harvest. Now, we need to buy potato equipment. Um, 372,000, let's have a quick look. Any potato stuff? Oh, actually, we haven't got any potato harvesting stuff at all, have we? We've got beet harvesting equipment. We haven't got potato harvesting equipment. So, uh, having a look in here, is there anything for potatoes? No, let's have a look in here, potato technology. Um, Perhaps the roper is what we'd look at this time, something a bit different. So we're talking about three hundred thousand dollars for that. Um, right. Uh, is that the one we want for the tractors? Oops, no, 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 don't want to buy it. No. Um Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Um I might go back here. I'm gonna have another look, and we've got that field there now. Um, what have we got left? Uh, three hundred seventy-two thousand dollars left. We've gone past that. You know, yeah. I'm gonna sell that one back. I don't want that one there. I am gonna buy this one here. Right. So we've now got that farm. And these farms here. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a quick look here and see whether there's any way I can join these farms here together. I mean, I've got the hedge to come through here. This is what the cheese factory. And then we come over to our fields here. But we've got these fences and these houses. And then this is the field we just bought, the corn. With all the stones through it. Look, the, the old farmer just couldn't bloody look after his land. Right, so, okay. I think for now that's probably enough. Um, we'll, we'll deal with the implications of getting down here and all that sort of stuff a little bit later. All right, that's fine. Let's have a look and see what else we've got to deal with currently on the farm. So if I have a look at our current land, um, we've got all this here. Now this field over here needs to be um, plowed in and prepped, ready to go. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, let's have a look. I just want to have another check and see exactly what the state of it is. Ah, oh, we need to have the rocks pulled up. So let's do that first. 
head on over, we'll get the stones pulled up, and then we'll follow on with a uh, cultivator or a plow. Or actually, we've got a direct seed, haven't we? We can probably direct seed um, into that field, to be honest. Right. There we go. And off we go. We'll head on over there and get that started. But that's pretty much where we're um, where we're heading to. So we've we've made a, a good amount of money. Um, we've invested that money into more land, and we're just going to keep on expanding the farm that way. So that's all well and good. Get him up around here. So I have, I've got no need to go over to the factory or anything either because uh, off camera I'd brought all the products that were over on the island production area um, over to the warehouse. So the warehouse was chock a block with everything we had currently available to us. Apart from the items at the dairy, I haven't emptied stuff from the dairy. Um, but there's no there's no real rush for the dairy stuff to come down. Um, we do want to put in the bakery as well. So maybe I might look at putting the bakery in um, over on the island. And then we can look. Once we've harvested a bit more wheat and stuff, we can start looking at producing some flour. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to put huge amounts in there because we want to. We want to sort of get this a bit slower and, and sort of work our way in because we don't want to put everything in the production straight off the bat and then have nothing available for like chickens or for anything else. Um, we may have some contract work where we got to deliver some wheat or some, some barley or some sorghum or something as well. So we sort of want to keep it that up our sleeve as well. Um, well, we're definitely not going to do those. We're not going to sit back and just wait um, and, and hold off on selling things just for the fact of not wanting to get too much money. The reality of it is if we've got the money um, and it's there because we've actually produced some stuff, then we, we sell it off um, when, when it's appropriate to do so. So um, that's what we're going to do. All right. So I'm just going to get him running around here. One of the things at 1.8.1 didn't break Funnily enough, was cosplay. Um, I've not seen a problem with cosplay to date, apart from the fact that I sometimes have some problems with auto detecting um, the width. Um, I think that's more of a problem that we were having even before um, 1.8.1. There we go. And I think we're now good to go there. Um, so he's good. We're just going to get him to first waypoint and start. And off he goes. Right, so we're going to let him get started on that. Oh, we're at 58% on the rock picker. I didn't realise that we're almost full. Or oh, over 60. Or almost 60%. Um, we'll let him go, and if we have to empty him, we have to empty him. All right. I want to go have a look at, like I said before, um, I want to see what I've got in the way of cedars. I think this is a direct cedar. Yeah. So we, we can direct seed this. So I think what we're going to do is as soon as he's finished picking up the rocks, we're going to come over and we're going to seed. So let's go and get him and bring him over to the field because there's no reason why we can't get that done sooner rather than later. And I'm going to use Big Blue. And we're going to get that, get that cracking. All right, so what we'll do is we'll continue to um, pick the stones off the field. I'll take the cedar and big blue over to the field. We won't get it started, though, because um, we're going to basically call the episode here because um, we've already gone through that time. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little bit of a talk about giants. Um, trust me, there's going to be a lot more to come, and we are going to discuss the platinum pack in a bit more detail. I... I have very strong opinions on the Platinum Pack, to be strange enough. Um, not everyone's going to agree with it, and that's that's okay, but um, we'll, we'll talk about that in an upcoming episode. Uh, I can't tell you which one. I can't even tell you which series. Um, it'll just happen when it happens. But we will discuss it. Um, 
again, many, many thanks to, to our good mate Grizzly, uh, Grizzly Bear Sims, but with the SSM Simply Safe mods. Um, mate, words cannot describe how, how disappointed I am. I, I'm not disappointed in the fact that I just had to do it. I'm just upset about the fact that it's, it's going to be going away and I haven't really had a chance to sort of try and help fix it. But nonetheless, um, I get it, I understand. And uh, I, I seriously would like to thank you, um, certainly on behalf of myself, and I'm, I'm sure there's many of the people that watch this channel that also would like to wish, um, wish you a hearty thank you for, for all you've done. And not just in, in this instance of the SSM with all you did for the FSUK community and all that, all that uh, went away as well. Um, You've been a great ambassador and uh, you're a good mate. So um, thanks very much. And uh, hopefully we will uh, talk again soon. But anyway, nonetheless, if you did like the episode, make sure you press that like button. If you didn't press the dislike button, that's okay. Uh, make sure that uh, you also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. So you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. Don't forget, um, you can join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details for all those are down below in the description. But of course, apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye.